What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here with RTSMall.com, bringing you a fantastic video today. We are playing some Eve Echoes, and we are going to be placing a corporation outpost, and then we're going to be going and checking out the uh, reinforcement timer um, on the corporation outpost and the capsuleer outpost and comparing them <clears throat> and just kind of getting some information on that. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you give me the like and sub. Uh, shout out to the Pandemic Corporation and the Silent Alliance. If you guys are interested in joining and being a content creator with the Pandemic Corporation and the Silent Alliance, it is a good time to join. We've got about a dozen or so different content creators here. Uh, True Beast, uh, Christian Bishop, is creating a cool content creator community. So it's definitely something worth checking out. Okay, I have now arrived at the White Dwarf Sun. Look at the graphics on that. What a cool looking star. I might even like this better than the, than the, the, the Pink Dwarf. Um... Looks pretty dope in white. Okay, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and jump uh, to the Capsuleer Outpost here itself. Um, I mean the Corporation Outpost itself and kind of walk you through the stats. Um, and then I'll start off the video by saying this is the test server. So you do not have access to everything I have access to. Um, you do have access to the Corporation Outpost and anything associated with that. But like the ship I'm flying and things like that you may not have access to for a long time that is still in development so here we go you can see here the corporation outpost has an overall defense of 44.6 milliones its max dps uh on all three phases is 10,000. now the max dps on a capsuleer outpost is 2000 so this can take five times as much damage per second uh so it's much higher overall defense, but if you have a decent-sized fleet, it will go down much quicker. Okay, fuel consumption is 3,000 kilojoules an hour. Anchoring prep time, 15 minutes. Anchoring time itself, 24 hours. Uh, and then we've got uh, armor and shield hardening for 24 and 48 hours. Okay, so 48-hour cooldown on shield hardening. I mean uh, armor hardening. Okay. Uh, okay. Permissions. It has all these cool things uh, between, uh, okay, all the different stuff. Great. You don't care about that. Let's go ahead and place it, okay? Let's go ahead and launch for Corporation, uh, and it's going to give me a bunch of options here, okay? The first thing that it's going to say is that there's no structures in system. Check. The second thing is, is it 1,000 km from any other structure? Check. Is it within 3 AU of a planet? Check. Is it a minimum of 50 km off of a planet? Check. Uh, does it overlay with other collidable objects? This is false. So what that means is when you initially try and launch the Corporation Citadel, it will spawn directly on top of your ship, and you're going to have to click these little arrow buttons and this little rotator in order to move it around. So let's get looking at the sun in the view. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. So we'll just go ahead and scooch this like over here a little bit. That way it's... And I can go up with that, right? Okay, okay. Let's go up. Let's go way up off the warp end because YOLO. Okay, we'll go like that. Great. I'm going to drop it right there. You can see there it is. I'm going to go ahead and hit the rotation button because I want to rotate it. Have myself, whenever I undock, I just want to go right into the sun. <laughs> It'd be great. And now we'll hit next. I just need to name the Citadel now. We'll call it the Silent, silent uh, Sleeping Bag. And we'll do RTS Mobile is the worst. Very good. Hit the next button. Now it's going to tell me when I can set my reinforcement for. Um, so we're going to do that for Saturday at 10, which is about two hours from now, just so, uh, well, I mean, whatever. So I'm going to set that. It's now spawning. It's going to take about 10 seconds here. And there it is. It has now uh spawned so it's actually placed a 240 cam off of me i'm going to warp to it you're going to look at it close up and then i'm going to jump over to the neighboring system where i already placed one a few minutes ago and you're going to get to see it in its reinforcement timer and kind of go from there so here is the uh, corporation citadel whoops in process uh it's currently being built there you go go ahead and pop one. Ooh, oh i'm going quick this little ship goes quick. Okay, now we're <laughs> now we're getting pretty far. All right, now we're getting okay. All right, well that's it. 
Okay, let me jump to the other system here. Give me that like and sub, by the way. You've now seen the Corporation Citadel drop. So if you're enjoying the video, if you're enjoying my Saturday bathrobe video, uh, this is the time to hit the like button. Uh, and by the way, if you are a content creator um, or a frigate pilot or a any really pilot that likes killing things uh, and blowing things up uh, and making content or not making content, being part of content, <coughs> uh, this is going to be where you want to go. Look at that. My unicorn's on the top. Oh, I took some damage going through that. What was that? Oh, that's real weird. Okay, we're going to check out, by the way, uh, when you do capture a system, it puts some cool-looking flags and stuff on the warp gates. So you can see here the silent uh, test server, silent and pandemic test server uh, graphics here. I have my unicorn with the multiple things on its tail, whatever those are. And here I have my banners, so it's definitely pretty cool. It is a really cool looking thing, especially with the logo just kind of floating there in midair. That's that's about as cool as it gets. So, okay. So I've got the pandemic, pandemic flags with the alliance logo. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and jump to the station that I already placed earlier. Whoops. Go to the station here. Uh, we are 33 AU off. I'm gonna go ahead and warp to the silent uh, nest. We'll go 15 km off of that. You'll get to take a look at that. And once again, this is a ship you do not have access to yet uh, or ever. We'll see what happens. Um, okay. Into the silent nest we go, baby. Into the silent nest we go. Again, next to the sun, clearly impartial for white dwarfs. Uh, and quite a few white dwarfs in this area, by the way. So here we have the silent nest. Uh, it is under... 23 hours and 45 minutes for anchoring time. Um, we'll just go ahead and orbit it max, uh, max whatever, see how, how close I can orbit at. <laughs> this isn't going to go well. You ever tried to orbit something at uh, when you're traveling 40 kilometers a second, get a tight orbit in? It's just not working out well. Oh my goodness. We're going to orbit at 100. <laughs> oh. Trying to bring it back in. Okay. Well, this is the fastest you're ever going to see anything go. This is 48 kilometers a second, by the way. This isn't, uh, you know. So, like, for for example, the fastest ship in the game right now is probably the Phantasm with a large afterburner going about 6,000 kilometers a second. Uh, I could be mistaken on the fastest ship, so feel free to correct, correct me in my comments. Um, but the Silent Nest orbiting at 48 km a second at 144 out. Okay, so there's that. I've also placed uh, 5,000 km away. I've also placed a uh, corporation, uh, sorry, a capsuleer outpost. So here is the corporation uh, outpost, and now I'm going to the capsuleer outpost that I dropped nearby. You can see it's right over here. And again, this also has 24 hours anchoring time, um, so I cannot go inside any of these yet. But in the near future, I shall. So, all right. That's it, really. Thanks for watching. You got to see some, some interesting stuff. Uh, love you guys a long time. Randy out.